Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. What I want to talk to you about this week is destructive behavioural patterns. Now we all have them in various different ways and forms. It could be that you go out and drink too much, that you might smoke, it might be that you gossip or that you create drama in your life, it could be that you eat too much, it could be that you're sort of lazy and you don't sort of get things done that you want to get done. There's an, as many different <laughs> destructive behavioural patterns as you can imagine. Now the reason I'm sharing this with you today is because there are reasons that you have these things and it's all to do with your subconscious mind and your operating system well one of the operating systems which is your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind the whole purpose of it is to ensure that you survive in this world and that you get your human needs met and the human needs that i'm going to talk about today are ones that tony robbins um, came up with and that he shares and i'll put a link to them in the show notes below when he speaks about them a link to him talking about them now, because your subconscious mind is operating in the background and it is subconscious, you're not always aware of why you're doing what you're doing. And today I'm going to share the why with you, because when you understand the why, you'll suddenly have choices that you can make that will hopefully lead to less destructive behavioural patterns that will get these human needs met. So the human needs that we have, I'm only touching on four, there's actually six, but there's four basic ones. The first one is for consistency. And this is to know that you're gonna wake up tomorrow and you're going to have everything you need to survive in this world. You're going to have shelter, you're going to have food, you're going to have clothing. You're going to be able to do whatever you need to do to get money to be able to survive and to feed yourself in the next day, week, and so on. The second human need is the human need for variety. And variety is in direct opposition to consistency. And variety is for excitement, for unpredictable things. It's for sort of, you know, feeling truly alive and vital and excited in life. And the two are polar opposites. And it's not about making sure you've got one and not the other. You need to balance the two. It's when they become unbalanced that we then develop behavioural patterns to try and rectify that balance. For instance, if you are in an incredibly boring job and your life generally is incredibly predictable, you get up, you go to work, you come home, you eat supper, you go to bed, and the next day you rinse repeat. By the end of the week, you might find that you can't wait for the weekend and you might find that you do silly things like go out and get absolutely rip-roaring drunk. And the reason for that is because you need some variety, you need excitement, you need to feel alive because you're not getting it in your day-to-day -day life. Now, that's just an example of those two human needs and are destructive. And it's not saying that everyone does that particular behaviour. There are many other behaviours that you could develop. But the next two human needs that I want to share with you, one is the need to belong, to feel that you're part of a group of people. It could be belonging to a family. It could be belonging to an organisation, to a religion, to a football club. You know, anything that makes you feel that you're part of a group of people larger than yourself. Now, the opposite of that is the need to stand out, which is the fourth human need that I'm going to talk about. And again, like the first two of consistency and variety, the need to belong and the need to stand out, again, are at polar opposites and they conflict with each other. Because to stand out, you need to stand separate and be um, unique and sort of interesting compared to those that are around you. So you can't belong and stand out at the same time, well, not easily anyway. And that's why you see that sort of um, sort of famous people, movie stars, pop stars, people like that can go off the rails when they become very, very famous because suddenly they're standing out so far that they no longer have that sense of belonging because the people that are surrounding them are not there to be part of a group together. They're there because of the money, the fame, whatever else, and it becomes a distorted view. So when you want to belong, it's a need to be loved, to be part of something, to be accepted. The need to stand out is the need to be unique, to be special, to be an individual. And again, if those two human needs aren't balanced and met, then we can find destructive ways to get those human needs met. One of them that just comes to mind is the need to, somebody might create a life of drama 
because by having something amazing or um, dreadful happen to you focuses all the attention on you and whether it's something that's awful that's happened to you or something that's good um, it means that people can see you and see you as an individual or that something is special about you even if it isn't something that's very nice so those are the human needs and a couple of ways that we might be destructive in trying to get those human needs met now there are many many ways that we can be destructive in trying to get them met I know that many years ago, almost I think 25 years ago, I used to smoke and looking back on it, I realised that that was one of the destructive behaviours that I had at the time. And when I've analysed it, I realised that I did it so that I could belong. For me, smoking, I didn't really smoke as much on my own as I did when I was being sociable or at work. Um, in those days, smoking was much more acceptable and people would have smoke breaks. So we would go outside and we'd stand together and we'd have a smoke and we'd chat. Those people that didn't smoke wouldn't get to be part of that little sort of side chatter that those that did were part of. Now, other people might smoke for many different reasons. People might smoke to get consistency in their lives because they know that they're going to wake up and they'll have a cigarette. That cigarette will be there through the day for them. It might be there when they finish work, but it's something they can rely on. It brings consistency into their lives. Some people might smoke to rebel and to stand out and be different. So there are many different ways or reasons why you might do a particular behaviour. And I can't tell you what those are. You're going to have to sit down and try and analyse that for yourself and ask yourself, why do I do this particular thing? What human need am I trying to get met by doing this? And this is the part that I love is when you understand that, when you can see why you're doing what you're doing, you can never unsee it. And this is all about self-awareness. And this is why I love self-awareness, because once you become aware of something, you can't then become unaware of it. <laughs> and before you become aware, you don't have a choice because you don't know, you, don't, you just don't know about it. It's just something you do. But when you are aware of it and you know why you do something to get what human need met, then you have the choice to change. You can decide, okay, so I would like to belong and let's use the smoking thing. I'm, I'm smoking as a way to belong. So what other ways, what else could I do that would be beneficial to me that would allow me to belong to something? Well, I could start a sport. I could start playing hockey. I could go horse riding. I could join a club and, and do pottery. I could um, join a church or a religion, if that's what you want to do. Um, I could join um, a football team. I could all sorts of things you could join to become part of a group of people and belong. And those things you would have to determine if those things are beneficial to you. So, you know, for different people, there are different things that would be beneficial. And the same goes for all the other human needs. So I hope that this has given you an insight into why you have destructive behavioural patterns and what human need you'll have to think about, what human need you're trying to get met by doing those things. But I hope it gives you choice. I hope those insights allow you to see that you can then choose a much more beneficial behavioural pattern to get those human needs met. I've loved sharing this with you. It's one of my favourite topics. And if you've liked this, please subscribe and like because it helps me get these episodes out to more and more people. I've also put the links to everything I've spoken about in the show notes below, along with links to my website where you can contact me if you're interested in coaching with me or to my online courses should you want to learn a little bit more about self-awareness. So much love from me to you and have a fabulous week. Bye bye.